how we can run native Java program, right? So this is applicable only for the first few weeks, whereby you will be able to learn some fundamentals in coding. Okay, so so you have this MT uh, MT activity Android project, right? Then next, what you do is you expand it, go to Java, expand it, uh, choose the first folder, right? Okay, so uh, you are given this Java file known as main activity. So uh, we do not need this one, right? Okay, uh, so we can close this also, we do not need, right? So uh, now we're going to create a new Java file. So right click, okay, then choose new, then choose Java class, all right? So norm uh, normally for Java file, we want to uh, capitalize the first alphabet so let's say it's week one so so I'm going to put week one uh, just put week one a right so we're going to write a Java class so choose the class then press enter okay right so you can follow your tutor okay and then just write the codes here okay to learn about uh, the fundamentals in programming right so uh, we know that the entry point to run a java file is is having the pu public static void uh, main method so there's a shortcut you can simply type ps okay psvm so you can see psvm here then you can just uh, just choose it so it will write the nice method for you automatically so we are going to just output hello world right so um, so the normal command to output something to the console for the java language is system dot output right so you can just write the shortcut s o u s o u t right so choose the second one s o u t okay so we're going to we're going to put a string inside here so hello world all right okay so to run okay to run uh, because we are using this uh, IDE Android Studio, which is not really meant to run Java file, but I've explained to you the reason why we are using Android Studio. Uh, because in time to come, you will be using this this program. Okay, so myself, uh, we use the same program to learn Java programming. Okay, so in order for you to run, you have to right click. Okay, just right click anywhere. Okay, no problem. And then choose, choose this one, okay? run with one a dot main method with coverage okay so you must choose the one with coverage okay choose this one all right okay so uh the first time you run is going to take some time subsequent run will be very fast so what actually transpire here is that your java file is going to be converted into what we call the byte codes okay and and you can ignore this panel here right okay so basically the panel that we are interested in is this console panel right so here you can see hello world being printed out okay all right so you can always clear whatever here you need to run you need to change something okay one two three right click and then run with one a main method with coverage okay and then the output will be shown here all right okay okay i'm going to show you uh, if you want to be more efficient uh, you can actually create a shortcut uh, to compile and run your java code okay so you can go to file okay go to settings and then uh, Okay, maybe here you can type in coverage yeah okay so you will see this command run with coverage okay so you can right click and then you can add keyboard shortcut all right so uh, there are some default you can choose and i believe you can really customize so let's say uh, i think shift tab is okay right shift tab so i'm going to choose shift tab okay so it's telling you that it's already assigned okay 
and this particular operation is not important to me right it's about uh, search everywhere and in then blah 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 okay not important so i'm going to override it okay i'm going to click ok and i'm going to uh, okay i'm going to put remove all right so now uh, that shortcut shift tab is now associated with run with coverage okay click ok okay and now from now on okay whenever we want to compile and run our java program we can just press shift tab okay and then yeah i've, I've just pressed shift tab and then you can see that okay so if this makes you more productive then you can go ahead and do it all right okay so let's say week one has passed you learn some programming and then uh, when you go to week two you want to have a fresh java file okay or even in the second lesson okay you want to have a separate file you want uh, you do not want to meddle with this file no problem okay so you can always right click okay and then choose uh, java class okay week 1b okay give a different name press enter okay and then just repeat the uh, the same process again okay PSPM the public static void main that method okay and then type in whatever code that you are learning all right okay and then the shortcut uh, shift tab okay and same thing it's going to compile and it's going to call upon the java virtual machine to run your java file right so you can see uh ah okay right so uh yeah you can see that it's not printing out hello there but instead it's printed out the earlier one uh that is because you can see over here right it's still showing week 1a okay so it's either uh okay so you have to do this okay if we want to run this file for the very first time we just need to choose run week 1b dot main with coverage okay so it's going to run this file here we'll change to uh, week 1b okay so uh, it's showing some display coverage data uh, all these are unimportant to us okay so we can just put do not apply i think it's fine right okay so now it's week 1b okay and then from now onwards you can always uh, shift tab okay depend on whatever shortcut you assign right so you will be uh, compiling and running this current java file all right okay so uh, for your assignment okay for the five questions that you're going to submit uh, basically you can come here and then you can just do a uh, you know select all okay just do a select all copy and then paste it into the lms to submit okay anyway i'll pull out another video uh, to give you the instruction on how to submit your solution uh, to the five questions all right so i hope this one is useful to you okay thank you for watching hi students being excellence is not a skills it is an attitude being excellence means giving your very best. Giving your very best in COMT might not earn you an A grade, but it is definitely good enough for your teachers, your family, and for yourself.